is a sick nasty light show for like parties and stuff. My dad's gonna be a DJ. Dude, you're not, oh shoot, Coco, she just flipped you in there. I don't like it, she okay? It's a mini decker. That was like <clears throat> not LZ. correct. Give me a second. And a American DJ LTS2, album single T-Bar, 212T. <laughs> It's gonna be sick nasty. Sorry, I'm like really scared to like chop myself into pieces. Chop yourself in. Chop, 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 chop. Dude, this is heavy. You want to move her? No. Okay. It's my doggo. Don't hit the Really, there's more? Don't hit the mini deck. Okay, you hit the mini deck. Okay, so it came with one piece of the stand and then it came with a nut and a screw. Oh, you almost stabbed me! It's gonna look like this. Okay, mount collar on center pole before attaching the side poles. Now. So you loosen it, pull it, you loosen this. Other way. Then you can pick it up a little and pull the pin out. Pull the pin out. There. Now you just let it slide down. And we take this and we put it on like like right. this. Don't forget, you got to put these on first. Yeah. Now I gotta. Now I gotta do this thing. Really light, really light, okay. Okay, so we have it up. Now we're gonna figure out how to make it work. So this is my initial impressions on this unit as I got it set up pretty much out of the box. It's it's ready to go. It, the, it's set for uh, sound mode to respond to sound. Uh, the sensitivity is set to 90 out of the box, at least on mine. Uh, the manual didn't quite match. It said there was a knob. There's no knob, you have to go in and change it. Um, at this point, I would say I'm slightly underwhelmed. Um, I mean, it was only 139 bucks, so you can't expect a whole lot. So it was actually pretty good for 139 bucks, but it doesn't respond as I would expect towards uh, sound, and it could just be the tone, how sound is dispersed in this basement. Also, I had to borrow the power cord from the one speaker, which is actually would be near it. Uh, the one thing I did do is I set the sensitivity down from 90 to 75 percent and I also set the speed when there's no sound to be slow because when the speed was fast you couldn't really tell when it was going from it didn't have a, a significant change in the pattern because well the speed was fast and you, you just couldn't tell now when it's slow things are moving as you can see slow and then when the music comes on and actually start seeing rhythm you will see a change in the patterns um, right now it's set in show mode one uh, zero which is random show mode one I think is just the lasers show mode two is the uh, LEDs and then like I say uh, you also have a, a part to do uh, the LEDs off overall I guess for 139 bucks it's not a bad light um, it seems like it'll probably be bright enough it's not dark in here yet I think one of the things that I would get initially right out of the box is it's 50 bucks for a DMX. I don't know how all that works, but even if I get the, didn't have the DMX, I think that I would rather than use random mode, have the remote so that you could like switch between the wash lights, I guess is what they're called, or like lasers, depending on the type of music. 
uh, so that you could switch it easier because you can't do that right now. You're going to have to go up and play with the control panel and you can't just switch modes easily, which I guess you could do potentially with the remote at least. So I may look at, before we go do this, this graduation party for, for some friends, uh, to maybe get that. I don't know that it needs a fog machine. It seems like it's pretty cool as far as that's concerned. Here's the floor. Here's the floor. I think it'll be fine. Like I say, it's not really dark in here. We are going to have some black light as well. We'll see how that does. Um, it's plenty bright. Like I say, it's plenty bright considering it's not really dark in this room. So that's my first impressions. So if you're just somebody starting out and wanting to get going with this, the stand, honestly, this was a $69 stand. I think it did pretty good. I'll show you what it looks like uh, with this and you'll see what I mean. I think that like for one song, you may say, I want to be in this mode. For another song, I want to be in this mode. Uh, for a slower song, maybe just the laser. I don't know. Um, I've never done really mess with lights before, but you definitely gonna want more than just the light. Uh, you're gonna want some way to be more selective in how you control it. Um, this might be fine for your basement. Honestly, it's not fine. If I was you, I, I wouldn't, I'm not happy with it. I'll just put it that way. I mean, it, it, you need some other kind of control. It's, it's, when it's random, it's just, it's just random and it, it changes too much between the different themes, you know, and it just doesn't look right. So here, I'm gonna play that right now and you'll go see what I mean. So here we go, I'll just keep it on this wall. <laughs> So there you go. So now with there's no music, you'll see that everything will slow down here or has slowed down, see? And so that's what it would look like. I set the speed slow so that when there's no music, it slows down and it's not going all over the place. But as you can see, just out of the box, it, I don't know, I'll have to do some more research, but you notice how it wasn't still quite synced with the rhythm. Again, it could be the acoustics of this room maybe playing more with the settings, but it wasn't perfectly synced. Uh, it was, and I've set the sensitivity down before it was like even less synced. Um, so not sure how I feel about that. Um, and again, you saw it changing its theme randomly as it went through. And honestly, I don't think that 
looked good. I, I think that you want a specific theme for one song and keep it, and then maybe a different theme. You know, maybe the lasers on another song. It, this this whole random thing just seems to be distracting, uh, not in a good way. So that's just my two cents at this point. Um, I have a feeling all of these lights are pretty much going to be the same. And so, like I say, this is just an idea to give you an idea when you're starting out what to expect if you've never done this before. Um, you're going to want some kind of additional control. Again, I can't advise what that might be, but just relying on sensitivity. Um, even, like I say, even I think the remote would be, I'll, I'll check, but I think the remote might be the, the next step. Um, my concerns about the remote, however, is I think the sensor's at the front of the light and um, the light's going to be in front of me. I'm going to be like, uh, so the remote, I don't think I'd have to turn around and walk in front of the light to shoot the remote on it. That's not going to work either. And so I, I have to research all that and see. That's my initial review of the Mini Decker LZR. Again, probably not a bad light. Uh, but if you're just getting into this, you are going to require more to be satisfied. Um, mostly in the control aspect of it, if you're wanting to look nice when you set this up for your friends. So there you go. Okay, so I saw this thing on my, that came with, with the, the light, and I had no idea what it was, and the book doesn't really say. It's a little thing, but I think this is an infrared device that you can plug into the headphone jack. It says in the book, it mentions this, but it says you have to buy it extra. But this came with the light. And you plug it into the headphone jack on your iPad or whatever, like so. And then there's an app called Airstream IR from American DJ. And I installed that app. It's got several things on it. Sound on, sound off, standby, full on, fade gobo, dimmer, one and two, uh, up and down, strobe, then it has a number pad, and then it says page, and show. Random, red, green, and blue, auto, fast, slow. Sound on, off, standby, full on. Uh, all these different things. Let's do it without any sound. It's not changing anything. Clearly it's not easy to use. Um, I assume this is what it's for. I mean, it was a little tiny. It looks like an LED on a, on a three millimeter phone jack. And I mean, what else would that be for? You will find that there is nothing on Google, nothing on YouTube. No one uses it. No one talks about it. Uh, there was one review of the app where the guy's using it with the, uh, uh, the moving heads or whatever they're called. And he basically said the same thing. He spent two hours. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Um, there are three pages to choose from, uh, depending on the device. Page one, which is specifically for supposedly this device, uh, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Um, it's not a whole lot you can change, and not a lot you can configure. There's not a lot you can do with it. Uh, so it's not like you can screw it up. It either is going to work or is not. Not to mention, it's a little tiny. You're gonna lose it, or it's gonna get busted off. It's it's not. It's not practical anyway. Even if it worked, I don't see it having a very good life expectancy because of the way it is. And as soon as I went to pull it out of my iPad, it broke. I mean, I could fix it with a little super glue, but literally, this thing literally pulled off as soon as I went to pull it out of the plug. It, it literally, uh, this thing literally just pulled right off like that, right as soon as I tried to pull it out of the plug. You can get a DMX controller that's seven channel, at least over seven channels, for like around 120 bucks. And I think that's even with a MIDI port. I'm still researching it. There's also software that can, you know, where you can get a DMX for like, you plug it into your computer and it's a DMX controller for like $69. And you're gonna have a computer there anyway, playing your music. So 
um, I'm going to look at the software and see uh, what kind of software there is. I don't know if that's really what I want to do. Controller might be nice to have separate knobs separate from the computer. But in any case, yeah, don't even waste your time with the infrared thing. That does finish my review. Um, and uh, like I say, when you order this thing, uh, it seems to be bright enough, probably would do a 20 by 30, just about fine. Um, if you're wanting to use it at a gig, you, you probably want to get a controller. I was looking at the manual and you just got it for 100 150 but even a cheap one i know i saw a six one for 99 dollars, and that's without even shopping six channel um, but you want seven channel at least really to do it right for this particular light but i mean if you spend 150 bucks and then you've got a controller you can use for other things but i i really think for 150 bucks you probably can get one with midi in it too which is a whole nother uh cool thing if you start researching that so i may just get one with midi even though i probably won't use it right now that's that's my two cents and uh and hopefully you find this useful so there you go